And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Minnesota Twins franchise. We are streaming today some spring training. And because of some tech issues, I've had to restart the stream. And hopefully it goes better this time. I did just do like a little test and it went fine. So I hope we can play some baseball now and actually see what this team is all about. So not much of an intro. We're going to get quickly into the action now as we're in the first spring training game. And I want to take a look at the new players that we have. And we're seeing Dallas Keuchel on the mound right now. He's our brand new ace pitcher. And we're hoping that he adds some major stability to our lineup that now is basically him, Lance Lynn, and a bunch of prospects who have really good potential, but potential is just, you know, hopeful for the future. We don't have a lot of young players who are ready to dominate right now. They're all low 70s, high 70s. So hopefully those players develop. But for now, we have two veterans that are kind of replacing the roles that Hector Santiago, Jesse Chavez, and Urban Santana had. And I think that, obviously, Keuchel is a major upgrade, and Lance Lynn should be able to give us a solid two or three option for our rotation. I think Lynn would be more of a, a four or five guy in most rotations that are a little bit more complete. But welcome everybody to the stream. Hopefully things are working now as I hope to get some baseball on the channel today. I don't have any videos ready to go as we get the first strikeout here from Dallas Keuchel. One thing I liked about signing him though is that it gave us another left-handed pitcher. We just have so many righties in our organization. It was nice to find someone who could change things up for us. What's your favorite team? It is the Minnesota Twins. And that's why I started this franchise last year. I did not expect them to be a playoff team. That was a major surprise, especially after the 100 plus loss season they had in 2016. There's another one. Is it working now, by the way, for everybody? Some people saying, is it back yet? Yeah, it should be good to go, hopefully. Everyone's able to watch now. We're going to have hopefully a bunch of games in this stream. They updated a lot of batting stances too, and it really just transferred them automatically. Miguel Sano's stance is way different in MLB 17. It has his new one by default. Um, there were some other ones I noticed as well. I'm trying to get something here off Chris Sale, but I'm not too confident I can. Ah, way too low. Now, there was a tiny bit of lag for 80 frames, it says. So hopefully it keeps on working and we can get a bunch of action in here and really see what these players are all about. I'm excited about this year. Keeping this at bat going now. Trying to battle here against Chris Sale. I'm enjoying MLB 18. A lot of people are asking me if I think the game is good this year or worth it. The show is very familiar. You're never going to be surprised by the show. If you like the other versions, you'll probably like this one. If you're looking for major upgrades, I, I'm not sure you'll have your expectations met. I do like the improvements to Road to the Show. I like the improvements to all the interfaces. And the gameplay is solid, so I'm happy with the game. In the air. We battle a good bit. I'm still like running the bases like it's road to the show. I keep doing that on accident. What kind of batting settings do you use? I'll show you my settings right now. I play it, uh, you know, very different than others because I'm just not good at hitting any other way. I do all-star difficulty, directional hitting with the left stick, and then buttons as my input type. So I don't do anything with the PCI. My plate coverage indicator is off, and I just don't like having to aim my bat. Pitches, you know, it happens so fast, I have no clue how you can time everything, read a pitch, and aim. It doesn't work for me, so I have to hit like this. It's the most basic way and the way I used to play games, you know, before baseball games got more advanced. Back when I played like all-star baseball or MVP baseball! Well, there's Nelson Cruz. He was the last player we signed. And he gives us a DH 
That obviously has a ton of power, especially off of lefties. That was not even a power swing. So, this year I'm hoping we have a lot more power in the lineup. We have Goldschmidt, who hit 38 home runs a year ago in the series. Now Nelson Cruz. We should be in a much better spot. I know I get big money for my expert analysis, but this is pretty simple. That was awesome. Now Josh Harrison for the very first time. Harrison is also very good against lefties. His contact is a 98, but it's like in the 60s against righties. I have a super chat here. One moment. From Pierce. Hey Kane, huge fan. Keep up the good work and hashtag keep Jordan. Well, if you want Jordan Starks, there will be an episode coming up uh, a little bit after I'm done streaming today. There's an episode that's finished. And I am planning on getting Jordan Starks into his second year. I'm still very unsure about what I'm doing overall on Road to the Show, but for now I'm playing with Starks. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Two and one. Ah, way out in front of that slider. I was experimenting with some different camera angles today. I forget which one. This is, I think it's a slightly custom fisheye where I centered it more. Harrison's retired. And now Eddie Rosario. A lot of people want to see me do a brand new road to the show. Oh, and one to Rosario. I remember the first game I had against Chris Sale in this series, and we took him yard three times in the first inning. That was one of the biggest surprises of the entire thing. Two and two to Rosario. Oh, is it fair? No. So close. Just a little late there on the swing. So, yeah, my hitting style is very... Oh, bad. It's bad. Also very simple. I kept feeling like that camera angle wasn't working for me. I might experiment a little more. No, I didn't trade Rosario. I traded Max Kepler. I was willing to trade either one of them, but I had better deals for Kepler. Thanks for the super chat, David Guerra. Kane, I know you want to focus on the show, but can you upload Bears this week to keep the pace going? I have the next Bears franchise video finished. It's already 100% done. It's going to go up tomorrow. So there's still going to be baseball. There we go. Or still football, of course. 27 Super Yankees sends a Super Chat. I really think the Harrison signing is going to be extremely valuable, even if it's not flashy as Goldschmidt, because Harrison's versatility is great. That's exactly what I think. And for me, the way I look at it, like, yeah, we have some infield prospects like Polanco and Gordon that could be really good down the road or even, you know, in a year or so. And if that's the case, we can always move Harrison into the outfield, unless Rosario becomes better. So it gives us a backup plan for the outfield or the infield. He's a very good contact bat. So I think that there are varying opinions on whether I should have signed Josh Harrison. But worst case scenario is we have a very, uh, I think, high average utility type of player. JBJ, as the initials read, he's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Two and one to count. Two out, nobody on. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. This is a good at bat so far. So far, doing a pretty good job with Dallas Keuchel, hoping for another strikeout. Does I look to get him probably three innings? How often do starters usually go in uh, spring training? Just a few innings to start. There we go, another strikeout. Byron Buxton now, they have his new stance. I can tell that's different already, and I didn't even see more than a couple seconds of it. 
I want to start warming up the bullpen a little bit here. Who do I want to see today? I'll have to put my other starters here in the bullpen just for spring training. Let's uh, let's go Gary Tadano. I want to see the young pitcher get in there. He's only like 19 or 20 years old. So Byron Buxton now. Ripped it. Can't use that speed when it's hit that quickly. Yep, I'm really enjoying franchise in the show. Very similar to last year, but there are some improvements to some logic things with retirements and just different AI. All right, just swinging at every first pitch now. I was patient the first couple innings. Are we going to see Fowler today? Yes, absolutely. And I'm probably going to sim a lot of this game after I get a couple more at-bats in. I had a three-pitch inning right here. No patience. I like some of those pitches, though. Let me get one more inning with Dallas Keuchel, and then I will um, probably do an inning with Tadano. Maybe one more inning of hitting, and then sim to the end of the game and restart things. Yeah, I have the bullpen going already because it's the spring. So it's just all about getting everybody some playing time and not really playing to win or playing your starters deep. If I get three solid innings from my starter, that's fine for this game. I want to move on to the next one. When is the next Twins episode coming out? Well, now I'm working on spring training. So I'm streaming today. I'll play some on my own. I might stream one more time. And then I'll throw together a spring training video before we get to opening day. And I want the spring training video and the opening day video to go up this week. So I'll be playing a lot of the show. It gets a lot of my attention here early on as I want the franchise to have some momentum with the game brand new. We have just had a very exciting offseason, so let's capitalize on it. When is King going to finally do some head coach? Well, with the rebuilds working well on my second channel, I think that this summer, when Madden starts to die down a little bit, and I'll probably have my Browns rebuild wrapped up, I think that the, a, a head coach series for a couple months would be uh, something that would fit perfectly there. Oh, man. Should have probably just barehanded the... Or tagged in with Harrison, but I never trust myself there because the movement in here is hard to trust for precision. There's Pedroia with a base hit as they've gotten, I think, three hits now off of Keichel. Next Bears upload is going to be tomorrow. Um, Kalispell, I'm still waiting on some recruiting stuff, so that's going to be a little bit yet. Probably more Bears and Twins this week. And then um, for Timberwolves, I'm not sure if I'll do a stream of that this week because of all the baseball I'm going to be playing. But if I have a chance, I'll do a Timberwolves stream. The last one was really fun. Oh, great. Now I have to face David Price. I'm going to pitch one inning with Tadano, and I'm going to hit this inning and then sim the rest. I don't know my Madden 19 franchise team, but once the draft is over, I'll have an idea. Yes, I am going to play more out-of-the-park baseball. I really enjoyed that first video, and I'm going to be playing a lot more of it. And it had a really good response on the channel yesterday. Lots of good feedback. A lot of you want to see a series, and I know with the rebuild... The Browns rebuild taking off over there. A lot of stuff is going to be possible on different games. And out of the park baseball was a perfect fit. Are you worried that some of your young pitchers might not get a chance in the majors this year? Well, there's not going to be enough room for everyone to get a chance. With Lynn and uh, Keuchel guaranteed to have spots. Then you have to figure out between Fowler, Gonzalez, Alvarez, Romero, Barrios, Tadano, who gets the remaining three spots. See ya. Nelson Cruz and Paul Goldschmidt have gone yard. David, Pr David Price gave me that one. I appreciate it. 442 feet. 
both home runs were normal swings. It's a solo shot here for Paul Goldschmidt. That was just a perfect. I can't wait to watch that one back. That pitch was like a batting practice fastball to me. What a great swing. The harder you throw, the farther it goes. How about this? Good fastball, and this ball is absolutely tattooed. I'll wrap up this inning, and then we will move on to a new game and maybe get Max out there. Oh, I did a power swing there, but Sano couldn't get on top or get underneath it. Up next for Minnesota. And then Nelson Cruz is up again. Nelson Cruz. The home run by Goldschmidt went a little bit further. We'll see if Cruz gets a second try. He's also taken him deep four times. And there's one well above the Who do you like as the current best hitting first baseman in the majors? I can't say I know the real league well enough, like I know football. Um, so I don't even know all of the first basemen. I, I got a lot more familiar with the league last year. Like, I used to pay attention very heavily. I watched baseball tonight every night during the summer. So I at least knew the league really well growing up, but then I... I lost a lot of interest in the sport for like five years, and now I'm getting back into it. But Goldschmidt's probably one of my favorites. One of my favorite teams to watch other than the Twins would have to be the Rockies. I just like their lineup top to bottom. They're a fun team. And of course, playing in Coors, they have the chance to score a lot of runs so here's Gary Tadano who pitched down at double-a all of last year and he's another one of our best uh, prospects him and Maxwell Fowler are really good he has a sidearm delivery and his fastball clocks in here at 93 miles per hour Maxwell Fowler was our first overall selection Tadano was our second in the second round and he fouls this one off he throws a fastball, cutter, slider, and a curve. Let's see that curveball now, 0-2. Oops. Not a very good one. I think this year he'll end up starting at AAA. He played all of uh, the year at AA a year ago. That is slammed into right. There's Charlie Blackman. What's my favorite franchise I've done? Oh, man. That's such a hard thing to answer because there are so many different ways I could look at it. Like, the first franchise I did really on Madden 12 with the Vikings, that was such a special series because it was the my first of its kind. Um, and then, you know, seeing that this YouTube thing really got going for me, that was a big part of it. Wow, Tadano's control here is a little bit uh, shaky. Let's see if we can see his ratings here quickly. Yeah, the player card's easily accessible. Um, hit per nine is only a 50. That'll be a part of the training emphasis. Control is a 64. Very good velocity. I think that uh, he could be a top of the rotation kind of pitcher. I think he has B potential. But maybe not this year. But regardless, I wanted to get him some spring training time. I think as early as next year, he could definitely be our one of our starters. Pulled to the right side under Harrison's glove. Minnesota Dynasty was definitely an awesome series going 10 years and just having so many different eras within that series moving on from players like Andy McKenzie that we built up for so long and it was really fun and now I'm doing that again on Kalispell that is you know six years complete and we've already done a lot of the same things what with having different eras and success and then moving on and trying to sustain it it's really fun Skitter sends a super chat. Will you be doing the Twins on Out of the Park Baseball? And if not, consider the Pirates because they need to be a good team. I'm just doing the Twins on there right now because I'm not all that familiar with the game and I'm trying to learn it. So I thought it would be helpful to at least use a team I'm familiar with. 
So I'd like to do like a, a year with the Twins and then maybe do a rebuild series if there's still interest. And I consider probably the Pirates, the Padres, the Braves, probably an NL team. Ramirez over at second, Benintendi at first, two out in the inning. Let's try to get that curveball. Popped it up. Goldschmidt is there. Makes the catch and All right. So a nice little inning there. A couple hits allowed, or actually a hit and a walk allowed by Tadano, but we got through the inning. They're going to bring in all sorts of uh, pitchers now. Maybe I'll get one more at bat here. Josh Harrison, one of our new hitters. There we go. That's a good pitch to hit. Right in the left. How many seasons do you think Kalispell is going to go on for? If you forced me to predict, I'd say like 15. But I don't know. All right, so I want to just sim to the end. Sim and exit game. Is that the best way to do it? Or just fast forward, end of game. And they are bringing in new pitchers automatically, thankfully. I'm okay if we just go quickly here. Jake Reed's getting in there. Wilhelmson. Yeah, the, the AI here is good for getting everybody some playing time. Hopefully forever. Oh, man. Kalispell Dynasty never ends. What's the limit? 60? Imagine if I had a 60, a full 60-year series on YouTube. Every single game played. Watchable. That'd be legendary. So who stood out today? Obviously the two solo home runs I hit were fantastic. We end up winning 6-2. to two. A double for Ardonez, Buxton, and Sano. I hit the only home runs. Tadano goes one inning. We just get one inning for a bunch of pitchers. Duffy has a little trouble with the Red Sox. Mookie Betts had a home run off of him. So let's go on to the next game now. Goldschmidt's player of the game going 441 feet, I think. What was my best draft class ever? The the draft class in the Jaguars series. Nataki Mason, Nate Bell, Antoine Dunn, Michael Riley, I think, was part of it too. David Guerra sends a super chat, make a Tim Gallagher road to the show. A lefty? Yeah. I haven't had many left-handed quarterbacks. I honestly hope to uh, get more left-handed quarterbacks. I just leave the players at their handedness when they uh, enter the game. And I, I just never get left-handed quarterbacks. But when I saw Gallagher was a lefty the first time, I was uh, really excited about that. I like Tim Gallagher. I'm going to go Maxwell Fowler this time, go out of order. And because we're doing this to get a look at the rest of our players, obviously, I'm going to already do some subs. Uh, let's get Zach Granite some playing time. Let's get Justin O'Connor in the game. I think that'll be good enough for now. Because I still want to see some of the players that I'm not as familiar with so far. Oh, yeah, Franklin Fitzgerald was in that draft, too. That was just the draft. If Ordonez breaks out while well, Goldschmidt is still on the team, who plays first base and who goes to DH? Or will you play one of them somewhere else around the diamond? I think Willie Ordonez can play a few different spots. I think he can play left field. So, at that point, it'd become a competition between him and Rosario to see who would be the best left fielder. Can I go see any of his stuff? Um, when he's up, I'll check. Charlie Blackman, though. Let's see if we can get him on base. And Blackman, 85 contact off a of righty, 62 power, and good speed. I think he'll give us a little bit of everything. And he 
misses with it, one and one. Wow. Only the second pitch of the game tonight. Nate Bell overpowered. Hey, Nate Bell was unstoppable. Like One of the best be players I've ever had. Late tonight. swing. How long has the stream been going? Oh, about 20, 25 minutes or so. Thankfully, things are working this time. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Have Kalispell play against your Gophers dynasty. I could probably set that up sometime. It would take uh, some work in Team Builder to do. I wish you could export team within Dynasty. That makes so much sense. I'm not sure that why well, that was never a feature. Ah, like a big deal in like college athletics, obviously, is like classic teams. And it would have made so much sense to be able to export your teams and be able to play with them in exhibition. Which, if I could do that, I'd do a spring game every single year. A lot of you liked the spring game I did in the first season, and the only reason that was possible was because I used the default rosters against each other, and that was such a fun little deal to do. I really enjoyed making that video. I haven't played any more out of the park since my uh, video that I posted yesterday, but I'll be playing it more this week. I'll have some content up. It's a fun game. Oh, man. Need to sit back a little bit. That's right. I was going to check on a couple new cameras. I'm in Fisheye right now. Fisheye 2. Some of these are strange. What kind of camera do you guys like to hit with? Let me try this custom one I made earlier. Bases are empty here with two men out. Wind up and the 01. Trying to get a camera that allows me to pick up depth a little bit easier because I've been like early on everything lately. Oh, and two. Do they finally fix online play? I heard they made a lot of improvements, but I haven't tried myself. Are you done with Super Mega Baseball? Uh, not the series. Ah, oh, man. I'm really excited for Super Mega Baseball 2. As far as the first Super Mega Baseball, when there's a, an announced release date, I'll probably play a little bit of it to get used to the game again before the sequel comes out. So we have Maxwell Fowler in now, and he dominated spring training last year, and he wasn't even supposed to be up here, but I messed up my 40-man roster, so he was. And then he played in the minors all season, mostly double A, a little bit of triple A. Not a high strikeout guy, but a good outs guy for sure. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner, but this is foul near the seats. I'll show you his ratings here in a moment because there's a chance that he begins this year on the major league roster. Oh, come on. Almost got it. But we got him at second base. It's all good. I don't use my green screen just because I don't uh, have anything for lights to make it good. And I don't really have a good setup for it right now. Plus, I'm not all that concerned about it at the moment. And for a while, I wasn't even regularly streaming. It's kind of been recently I've been streaming more often. This guy's looking to do damage. In there, two and, one. and David Guerra just sent a super chat asking about the green screen. It'll be a thing at some point. Two out, nobody on. Hard on the ground towards short. Backhand. And that is a solid first inning here for Maxwell Fowler. Thank you for the super chat, Brian. Hey, Kane, I love your videos. Been watching since the ninth year of the Minnesota Dynasty. Keep it up. And how long will it take for Kalispell to compete for a national championship? I think it's going to take a lot longer than Minnesota, partially because we began with, you know, a team that was just starting out. But also, it's not easy for us to recruit the best players in the nation. We're having a really tough time, and we tried recruiting more four- and five-stars in uh, the last year. It didn't work. I think it's still going to take some time. I think it could take more than 10 years to get that to that caliber. Is taken for ball two. 
Would you consider doing a top 10 drafted players between all your franchises? Yeah, I love to do stuff like that looking back at old series and whatnot. Like, Kane's Classics needs to be a thing, and I want to make it a thing. I talked about that idea a year ago where I'd make videos kind of like showing off great players, great moments, whatever it may be from seasons and series past. We have a lot of history now on the channel. And I want some fun ways to look back at series that are obviously old. I'm always getting, you know, more subscribers on the channel that I've never seen the older content. And there's a lot of good stuff in there. And here's Willie Ordonez. I do want to see his ratings quick. I prefer not to swing at this pitch. And we have a 2-0 count. Alright, so Willie Ordonez. He's a, he can play third or left. So a little bit of flexibility there. I think he'd play in left, not first base, obviously, with Goldschmidt there. Or he could DH. Very good contact. Power is adequate. His potential isn't all that high. I think it's only a C. But look where he is right now as a player. Pretty good. And he might be on the Major League roster here right away this season. As just a, a bench player that gets the occasional start and can pinch hit. And give you a high contact so bat. It's not like he's 3 0 count now. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. I like to see an out of the park baseball series where you start as a free agent from GM and work up from the bottom. Pitch. If I get more familiar, that's probably yeah, more possible. It'd be a little bit overwhelming right now. I like starting in the majors. I'll figure some things out and then uh, try some other stuff. And I know they're working on a football game. I really want to. Uh, see that when it comes First out because I'd be a lot way. more prepared for that Josh Harrison ground ball that's a double play here's Mark Trumbo now more Maxwell Fowler I think next I'll play with Jose Barrios and Escobar's throw will take care of him for the first out Digging in, Adam Jones. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strike. Adam Jones at bat now facing Max. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Jones is a player referred to as clutch by teammates, coaches, and of course, the media. There is a base hit off of Fowler. I don't think I can pull up Maxwell's minor league stats, and I wish you could. I mean, I want some sort of context there. He spent some time at double A, some time at triple A, but I can only show his major league stats and actually nothing here in game. It just shows the stat line above for what he's done this season. So Max has given up a couple hits. We'll find out if he's ready. If not, he'll start the year at AAA and be probably our first call up if starting pitching doesn't go well to start the year. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes. With a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up in a 2-0 count, there's a pretty good chance of he What's a brief this, explanation of out-of-the-park baseball? So um, basically, it's a right baseball now, management sim, and, and it's a game Off where strike, you really control... Think of it similar to NFL head coach, where you have a lot of GM control and coach control, but you he don't play the games the yourself. Four. It's about handling the team and... Then, you know, the team performs based on the players you have, how you develop them, and your coaching decisions. So, you handle things like the roster and who's, you know, going to be your starting lineup for that day. And it's really in-depth. There are a lot of great stats in the game. And it's, it's fun if you like sports, stats, and the management side of things. It's a really cool game. And not many games add that amount of detail. And of course, here in inning number two. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Davis is at least partially known for being a long ball threat, of course. In fact, he's standing on the doorstep. Of All right, let's get out of this inning, Max. Again, I want to go three innings here with Fowler. Strike three. He won't get many of those, or not a ton. I think he's going to be more of a 5 to 7 K per 9 type of guy. Can he be a future ace? I think he can, but he's not going to do it 
in style. He's going to do it in a pitch-to-contact kind of way with a low ERA, but he's not going to get a bunch of strikeouts or throw heat. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, Getting a call like that to go your way can feel like nice swing there by Eddie Rosario into the right center gap. I've had some really satisfying swings between that one, the Goldschmidt swing, and the Nelson Cruz home run. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer. And now Justin O'Connor. I was excited about him last year, and then he tore his Achilles. We didn't get to see him play very much, if at all. So now with a runner in scoring position, here's your chance to earn a spot as the backup catcher. One second here. I think things are trying to catch up again here. We drop some frames. I think things are going to be okay. I'm not 100% sure. I think we are back, but I'm not 100% sure. Justin O'Connor. What can we do here at the young catcher? And the o -one. Here's one a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. That's not an easy pitch it's to back. do anything with, right? It's not now dropping anywhere near as many frames as earlier. I'm not sure why there's a problem to today when there hasn't really been one be recently. Ah, bad swing. Davis popped it up there for it. there's definitely a sizable delay though unfortunately and now Zach so Granite one of our best now, outfield prospects and I forget his development in here he's a 71 overall I think he's a C potential can we get Eddie home first pitch of the at bat that's, That's going in the air, the but not where I want it to go. It in his sights. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And Charlie Stepping Blackman. I don't have a hit with him shot. yet. Charlie Charlie Working on it. On his last time and now we'll take I want to warm up a pitcher quick. Who do we want to see here? I could put in Barrios now and just get some more innings with him, but I'll start the probably probably the next game with him. I want to try Rysel Iglesias at some point. Let's get Sandy Bunty. He'll probably be at AAA this year. Yes, I do YouTube full time. From the stretch. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Remember when Madden had the potential system and it worked horribly? I know. I complained about it so much on Madden 12. Remember Kenyon Barner and his F potential? He goes from being a Pro Bowl kick returner to dropping like 15 speed in one year. It was just a really bad system, and I'm glad it got scrapped. And we've never seen it again in Madden. I prefer the development system they have where some players develop faster and some develop slower. But your players aren't just going to bottom out after rookies. Ah. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I think he'll a be low change himself about that swing. Yep, there will be a condensed video for spring training as a whole, not each stream. But there will be some highlights from this one. That's for sure! Blackman into the left center gap now. That's going to bring home Rosario. Blackman going three. Blackman in! Triple. My first triple on the show. And the pitcher was this close to getting out of the inning and leaving that runner stranded. But the guy standing on third had other ideas. Driving in the, the potential the system in Madden 12, back then you didn't earn XP for your players. So they upgraded kind of automatically and they upgraded based on potential. So if a guy had an A potential, he was going to become good. It didn't really matter what you did. If he had F potential, he was going to be bad. So after one year, things changed dramatically from one season to the next, and it was bad.
Escobar gives us a base hit. We have two runs on the board. Let's go. Goldschmidt is up again. First pitch on its way. Missed with a slider. He's been great on the mound up until this Good plate yeah. discipline, Hurricane. Thank you. Now, but Gotta do some things correctly. Right the rest of the way. This is still gonna be a start he can be proud of. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter? Knowing he's just missed out. Got 2-0 counting out a Goldie. And dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field. 3 and 0 and we're going green light. They're pitching around him obviously. Oh, I was late. Wait, I was early. I was early on a 96 mile per hour fastball. I'm changing. Now I'm early again. Yeah, this offense should be a lot more fun in the episode. Should have a lot more action this year. That's my hope. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. We draw the walk. Now Miguel Sano. Ready for another chance. Miguel Sano. Two on, two out for him here in the third. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Got to be able to catch up to those inside pitches. It's tough. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Oh, by him here and he's in control I don't know what two. I was thinking there. Well, we know what this guy's approach is. He's looking to go absolutely right down the middle. Oh, I had good swing I timing. Anything. I felt like I was a little late, but I didn't show the the Here's box there. The Waved at and missed for the third yeah. down. Not much of a chance. All right, so a bad end to the inning, but I got a couple runs. I hit two doubles and a single. Um, let's go three for Max. I'll sim a few games, just like without playing them at all, too, to get more stats to look at. I might do two spring training streams, maybe one on the Tuesday, the day the game comes out. The best draft steal you ever had? Harmon Whitaker wouldn't be a draft steal, but he's my best undrafted player that comes to mind. But as far as a steal goes, Larry Wilbur? I don't think Max has had a 1-2-3 inning yet. Here's Kelby Tomlinson. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Pitch out, nothing doing. The 1-0 home is a fastball that misses. All right, Max. Let's keep it together here. One thing I need to do more with Max is use his sinker. I feel like that's supposed to be his identity here, a sinker, a sinker ball pitcher that just gets a bunch of ground outs. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground. He doesn't have like the best velocity, but his ratings say that he should be able to avoid walks. He has a very high walk per nine, and he's not going to get a lot of strikeouts. So I look at it as him being like a sinker ball pitcher and then just focusing on hitting the corners. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. I wouldn't be surprised I'm missing some pitches here. Full count. Pitch. Popped it up. Dante Rooks will be up there. Yeah, yeah, give him time. He had a great rookie season. That's for sure. First offering on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. So far, this has been a very good outing for this guy. Listen, he doesn't have the best stuff, but what he needs to do, and he's doing it right now, throwing strikes early, trying to initiate a lot of contact. The more pitches that the hitters see off this guy, Oh, we got Manny Machado waving at the curveball. So he needs to continue to... And the throw is in time good work here for Maxwell time. Fowler. We'll take him out of the game. Hey, Phil Hughes is going to pitch. I'll get Willie Ordonez up again. 
Yes, I have watched uh, Brett Coleman's uh, breakdown videos. He does really good stuff. If you never checked out Brett Coleman on YouTube, he's uh, he makes football content and he does really good film breakdown of various prospects. Doesn't make a ton of content, but the stuff that's there is very good. I liked his uh, Tremaine Edmonds video a lot. Um, Minka Fitzpatrick, I think he has a video on him. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Now Hughes readies the 1 0. Yeah, a lot of you are going to want to wait for OSFM rosters when it comes to starting your own franchise if you're starting it now. Those rosters are worth the wait, but you do have to be very patient. Do you ever wish Steven Smiley hadn't fumbled so much? Oh, man. Smiley for those four games was everything I'd ever hoped for. The breakout running back that took the league by storm. And then it was and over. It was so sad, that rise and fall. Man, the then Barry and Secchi took that over, that and it was his show. Should have golfed that one out of the stadium. I timed that perfectly. Just early. No, you could have hit that one off the foul pole. That's over, but Any idea on when they will come out? Uh, maybe a, a week? Two weeks? That's longer than most of us want to wait. I forget how long it took last year. I can't remember exactly. But you can follow the thread on Operation Sports. They'll probably have something on the forums. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Three and one to Rosario. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. To the right side, a base hit. Oh, I should have gone three. I'm not being too aggressive here. Where did the two runs come from? I had two doubles earlier in a single. Justin O'Connor now, our backup catcher, gets his chance. In the air to right. Oh. Foul. A little bit late. He popped out in his first trip. I read on the forums that it will be out opening week. Yeah, maybe with the early release, it was a little bit easier this year. I don't know. We take it into right. Nah. I don't want to risk a last out at third here in the spring training. It's not worth it. When I could get Zach Granite in that bat instead. Any advice on what team I should choose for MLB franchise? I've seriously been stuck trying to determine. Well, if you want to use a lot of young players and build them up, you could use a team like the Chicago White Sox. They have a lot of really good A potential pitching in this game. I checked out their roster, it's impressive. So the White Sox would be more of a developing franchise. Uh, it depends on what type of team you want. I mean, the Twins give you a good team that isn't like a team with the best roster. The Braves would be a good option if you want to build them up a little bit and develop them. The Brewers have a really fun lineup. The Rockies are, have a fun lineup, and you could get them some pitching. Here's a question I have. Is anyone a big Rockies fan here? Do they just, like, not pay pitchers because they uh, have to pitch in Denver? Is it, like, not worth it? Do they usually just load up on hitting all the time? Bouncer to the left side. Oh! Ah, always. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He's over. 
I had somebody warming up, correct? Off the fourth, yeah, Sandy Bunty. So far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one. Hey, we have some Rockies fans here. The fastball here is they'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. They signed a bunch of relievers this offseason. I just know looking at their roster and how stacked their lineup really can be. Um, I, it just crossed my mind, like, do they just, like, not give out big pitching contracts because they have to pitch in that altitude and it's probably just better to try to get the runs instead of try to prevent them? How is Goldie? He's fun. I've already gone yard with him. It was a 440-foot blast. There's a couple of keys swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball so Sandy Bunty is probably not starting on the major league roster I wasn't expecting him to but Mark Trumbo takes him out who's a bigger bust Jaron Merritt or Quincy Inunua it adds a tie I have returned if it's working I'm sorry there have been so many issues today hopefully they're cleared up for the next time I want to stream but baseball is back here. I have a super chat here. I'm going to read the super chat here in a couple minutes because I'm not sure if uh, everyone's back yet, the especially uh, the, the person who sent pitch. it. Another one sent foul. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much. Bouncer the left side. Round Good play. Third. Good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Left fielder. Into the box now. Here you Canale. First pitch on its way. I think we are all back then. Um, and as I say that, I see some frames are being dropped at the moment. Not sure what the problem is today. Thankfully, we got some, you know, clean stream. That's Without any errors, right there, that two -seamer moving away I was hoping it'd go a little bit longer. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. I can tell it's trying to work. Is it working? That's another story. It's getting better. Not sure if I can trust it. But we're here. Playing MLB The Show. Maybe I can continue playing the game now. Hello again, everybody, for like the fifth time. I really hope that we can play, you know, solid for a little bit longer. Look at that strikeout for Sandy Bunty. What are Bunty's ratings all about? Let's take a look. Sandy, I think, has B potential. He's a 68 overall reliever who's only 20 years old. Pretty good velocity and break. Probably more of a setup guy or just a middle innings kind of pitcher low clutch but he did really well in his Here first year down at double a last two guys he's acting like it didn't even happen before fastball in there for a cold strike the 
wind up and the 01. There was a super chat here from 27 Super Yankees I wanted to get to. I hope that he has a stream refreshed. And he at, he said that uh, ever since Mike Hampton's horrible contract from the Rockies and stint there, pitchers won't want to play there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a good place for pitchers to earn big contracts. So unless it's like your last big contract because you're getting older, I'm not sure if that's a good place to... To go pitch. Baseball's interesting. Got to worry about altitude. Well, you do in football as well, but it doesn't, I think, impact the game itself as much as baseball. Although we probably should give Matt Prater's field goal an asterisk, right? And then Matt Elam had it for so, or no, not Matt Elam, Jason Elam had it for so many years. The field goal record. Jason Elam was the Broncos kicker when I got into football. Was it Merritt or Anunwa? I said it was a tie. They were both pretty disappointing. So that's what makes baseball great. I, I love all the, the weird stuff in baseball. It does help make the sport great. Ah, slider in the dirt. I've said before in my Road to the Show videos, I wish I could play in VR. I'd pick up the ball a lot easier. That low slider. All right, Miguel Sano's turn. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. I'll probably sim the rest of this game after this at bat or this inning. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. That time I was late, not early. What was my favorite Madden game? I really enjoy playing Madden 12. I like Madden 17 a lot. 18 brought a lot of important improvements. They also brought a lot of uh, steps backward with some of the bugs and quarterback AI. So, like, a combination of 17 and 18 would make me pretty happy. Taking the good stuff from 18. And now it's Sano taking this out to right center off the scoreboard. Another spring training home run. Play Fortnite instead. If you think my MLB gameplay is bad, wait till you see me play Fortnite. I got like a .6 kill per match on there. tell you one thing you might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues but when you get one up like I expect that, the so home run to return to the guys, twins this year going to get exactly what he got a really bad result here's Willie Ordonez stepping in now Willie Ordonez as the first pitch sinker misses to him it's ball one he was a ground out victim last time up the 1-0 Ardonez hit for a very high average in the minors last year, and now we get him going deep to left, and that's going to be a stand-up double. Destroying some of these pitches today. This team is sick. You're definitely going to the ALCS. First step, I want to win the division. I like how I made this team so much better without really inflating the payroll. We're only up like $20 million, which is not major. We just shed so much salary all at one time. Santana's contract, Maurer's contract. Um, who else would we have had that had a big deal? Ah, that's right. I forget exactly who would have had a large contract other than those two. We had a very low payroll in season two, just $93 million. That's, that's pretty low. All right, so let's sim to the end of this game. And the Minnesota Twins are able to put together a five-run eighth and win 10-1. I want to know what we did in those late innings. 
Max gets the win. Escobar three for six. Blackman two for four. We hit the triple with him. I think I've done something with everybody that I signed except for Harrison. I don't believe I've gotten a hit with him. Let me see the game log. I just want to see the eighth. We had a Nick Gordon hit. I haven't played with Gordon yet. I got to do that. Oh, man. Especially before we have any more streaming issues, which I think we might have just started one up again. All right, we're hitting some home runs now. Why don't we sim a couple games here in spring training? Oh, no, you're dropping frames. I see you doing that. I appreciate all of you being patient. I really do. I think it's working again. I like this new menu here. All the new menus in the game. Like this one after the game is over. We have the player spotlight. It's so simple, but it helps. These visuals are important. We're going to sim a couple games now. And just take a look at what's going on with the team we win our next two spring games this time what do we have blackman over three three hits for cruz two for rosario a home run for sano and alvarez gives us three innings but two earned runs and then against st louis we win again a lot more runs Escobar with three hits, Goldschmidt with two, Cruz with three more. He's having a good spring. Home runs for Goldschmidt, two for Cruz, and one for Escobar. Max gives up six runs and four walks. That's not a good sign. We're not going to play against Boston again. We lose this one. We're not invincible. Josh Harrison gets a couple hits this time around. A home run for Goldschmidt. And then Gonzalez is the one who has some trouble on the mound. Let's sim this one as well and just get into the month of March. Even when you sim, you're going to win a lot of games. Yep, I'm going to sim a lot still. Uh, I might play more games this year if the team is obviously a lot better. Because I want to have the flow of the season really captured for you. Dallas Keuchel gives up five runs. Our starters just can't get a good outing now, it seems. So I'll get a I'll do some innings with Lance Lynn. That's cool. He's up next. And then here is how the spring is going thus far, with Nelson Cruz having four home runs. Nick Gordon, four at-bats, two hits. I want to get him some more playing time. Three home runs for Goldschmidt, two for Sano, one for Escobar. And then for pitchers, let's go by innings pitched. Keichel had a bad uh, outing. So did Fowler. Hopefully things level out. Let me go to my pitching rotation and just make sure we can have some of our other players in there to play.
Let's play this game against St. Louis. We'll go with Lance Lynn this time. Actually, maybe Yadier Alvarez. Maybe I'll, I'll use both in this game. I'll do two innings with each. How about that? And then I do want to get Nick Gordon some at-bats. Let's bat him toward the top two so we don't have to wait very long. We'll play him at shortstop where he's listed. Um, I'll let Willie Ordonez play again. We'll take Goldschmidt out this time. I want to put Cruz back in. Oh, no, DH this game. Okay, so not this time. I'll go Mitch Garver at catcher. Let's play more. Are you going to do the Jordan Stark series now? I have an episode going up today. So we'll just see how much longer it keeps going. There's a lot of feedback about whether I should start over or not. Yep, I got Charlie Blackman. I wanted to upgrade our outfield, and he was available. We signed him four years, 40 million bucks. Joe's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today, a spring training matchup. Coming to the Blackman now. so far hitting 190 in the spring. Ready for some daytime baseball. Right fielder, Charlie Blackman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there. For I wish I could create new alternates for Callus Spell, but I'm not able to. There we go. Left center gap for Blackman. Oh, it's not extras. But it does get him another hit at least. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the same piece of cheese and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. And now this is Nick Gordon. Our other top prospect. He's a top 50 prospect with a potential. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. A one pitch on its way. Taking some pitches here, waiting for something again. Something good. Oh, boy. More lag. I'm determined to keep playing. I'm determined to get this baseball stream continued. Please, are you working? I think it is. You guys are being very patient. If you want to dip out and watch something else, I understand, and you want to watch the replay. But I appreciate all of you for spending some time with me despite the difficulties here with the streaming today. Right down the middle, and it's going to be a double play. That's so disappointing. No, there's no bad weather. I just don't know. Like, there's no reason for the internet to be bad right now. But it's been very inconsistent today. Oh, come on. That should have been a hit for Willie, and it's not going to happen now. The pitcher blocked it. Here, what they can do, no score, and that'll bring up. So, we have Lance Lynn here. Like I said, I want to pitch two innings with him, two with Yadier Alvarez, just to you know, get some reps in. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch fouled off. Right now, Lynn is our second pitcher in the rotation. This bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. 
Those O2 curveballs are Rip really past tough third guys base and into left. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. That was an error? Next to bat for St. Louis. What was the error? Dexter Fowler. They called that an error on Sano. Very strange. Fastball is in there. Here's the Ooh, wild curveball there. Ball that time, not even close. So one, one. And this is hit into right. right. Another hit for the and Cardinals. Down for a base hit. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. Batting third, right fielder Stephen Piscotti. Outfielder Stephen Piscotti, the next we'll take that he one. Swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Black Blackman's Black arm on display. Not the best the throw ball. right there. Matt Carpenter now with runners at the corners. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Matt Carpenter, and their runners at the corners now. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location. There we go. O2 count. Got to be careful doing that. Behind 0 and 2 now. 0 and 2. Here it is. Got him to chase it. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone. Good strike out there for Lance Lynn. In now, Jed Jerko, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Right over the middle, knee high. Lynn's gonna bounce back here. I feel it completely. Another 0-2 count. Let's try that curveball again. Haven't gotten that one to work yet. Now the 0-2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. And Hit the corner with the cutter. Put the wishbone formation in Kalispell so all running backs can play. It's a good idea. I want to get like five running backs in the field at a time. Then I'll be content. Martinez to lead off the inning. Up and away to start the inning. It's one and zero. One ball, no strikes. That was a good slider to hit right there. Here it comes on one and one. Lifted underneath it too far. Got some impressive hang time though. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. Kalispell doesn't have a great running back. Let's not put three running backs out there. I really want to know how that's going to go this season. It could go in so many different directions depending on, you know, who has a breakout game or whatever happens. Richard moving in. He's got it and there are two down now. Now in the box, Eddie Rosario. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. High in the air. Not being very patient in this game. Fowler has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. All right, another inning here for Lance Lynn. Then we'll get the Rio in. Something going here in this scoreless ball game. What difficulty? I am on uh, All Star for everything. pitch on its way and a half swing here but this is in there for a cold strike too getting a lot of O2 counts here with Lance Lynn and now a soft hit grounder at Harrison perfect and there's one away stepping in for the Cardinals just curious out of my two channels what is your favorite series going on right now between the two I'm not sure how many of you watch both. I'm sure that now my second channel has an audience that doesn't even watch my main channel or isn't aware of it. And he couldn't get him to chase the O2 fastball. They're both having their own identity now. Not a bad pitch right there on O2 a fastball. Strike three. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there. Alvarez, yeah, it was Alvarez I wanted to see. You know what? I'll do an inning with Barrios and then I'll pitch Alvarez afterwards. I want to see everyone. 
And there's a pitch. Kalispell, Kalispell, Bears and Kalispell, Browns, Kalispell, Browns, Kalispell, Matt Pierre, Kalispell. Lots of dynasty love. Stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. I'm glad the Matt Pierre series is still going strong, especially now that we've finally gotten on to a good team. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Another try at 2-2. Barely got a piece of that one. Another good inning for Lance Lynn. Who's pitching right now? That's Lance Lynn, the veteran. All right, Mitch Garver. Someone's got to be our backup catcher. It's either going to be Mitch Garver or Justin O'Connor. The order set to go here in the third. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Who do you think is going to step up at running back in Kalispell? Um, I think it could end up being Troy Lee or Marcus Payne. Someone who can get us a little more strength between the tackles. I think Kyle Thomas will have a great role but I'm just not sure how complete it's going to be. Ah. Low slider should be illegal. I like Buxton's updated stance in here. It's obviously a lot more authentic. I don't like his stance in MLB 17. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Missed with a slider. How much did it cost to sign Goldie? I think it was around 105 million over five years. Way in front of a great slider. Wasn't cheap. I think it was 25 million a year or so. I forget if it was four or five years, but it was like 25 a year. Throw a good hitter, the same pitch. Ah man. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Has I'm trying to have some better at bats here, but I still have a lot of bad ones. Okay, Lance Lynn. I don't need to hit with Lance Lynn. By the way, you call for time, I think, down on the D-pad. That might help somebody out. Um, How do you do subs this year? Oh, substitutions. How about that? Let's get Palka in there. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down in it. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way. You should recruit someone to mainly return kicks. I'm looking for that athletic profile right now, or I, that's what I'm going to look look at in uh, recruiting this year. We don't have that same dynamic presence on the team. Like, I think our most dynamic players now are Carl Joyce and Kyle Thomas. Ah. Oh. Big pass at a slider that gets past him. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right He loves there. that slider. I wonder why. He's got aggressive things on his mind. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one. One and, and two to, to Palka. Back. That was a hanger. Spot over the heart they have a DH in spring training, but not when you travel to a National League's ballpark like we are right now. St. Louis is the home team. Three and two to Palka. When is the next episode of the Bears franchise? Tomorrow. The video is complete. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. I thought, I think I sat back enough on that one. It looked to be a good timing swing. I guess I can't get Alvarez into this one. I think because he's a starting pitcher. Either way, I'll do the next game then with Alvarez for a couple innings. 
Okay, well now we're pitching against the pitcher, so that's not really fair. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And that misses inside 1-0. and Hector. Oh, Josh Harrison. Nice catch. Nice play. Harrison should give us good stability there at second base or in the outfield, wherever we want to put him. Phillies play with a DH today at home, though? I don't know. Does the NL team get the option? And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. He will look at a first pitch and here it has us playing with a DH for one here in the sometimes point. when we're at home and a strike to even the count one and one the one one home Misses press R1 two. in in the bullpen to get starters is that a thing it is you are awesome bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score If I can have a stable stream, would you like another spring training stream maybe on Tuesday when the game is officially released? Look at Barrios getting the strikeouts. I do want to play some on my own. So I can uh, put together the episode with some other stuff as well. That and I don't want to stream like all the spring training. Oh, that's a moonshot. Got a chance to go. It's gone. Home run, Dexter Fowler. Well, he was on cruise control. Just needs one more out to get out of the inning. But he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one. I still think Barrios can be really good in this series, but... He, he wasn't even playing well enough at AAA last year to develop. I'll start him probably at AAA this year, and if he's not dominating, he's going to AA. He's playing somewhere where he pitches at a high level because that A potential's got to get, you know, his overall up somewhere. I'm determined to develop him. Man, we have more lag issues, it looks like. I'm sorry they're becoming so familiar today. I think I've had another stream go like this before, maybe with like my Cowboys uh, Fantasy Draft franchise or something last year. But it's usually pretty stable, and we've been streaming a lot lately. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Now the one and one pitch. Lined into left center. A Charlie Blackman. Can't bring it down. Base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality. Yes, I have used Dallas Keuchel. I'll probably pitch a little bit more with him. I'm trying to get as much into this stream as I can with different players. And here's a ball hit in the air, and this will fall, but it's a foul ball. This is 18, right? Yes, this is MLB The Show 18. And he's back easily. One pitch on its way. This is on the ground. Why do I keep hitting double play balls with Nick Gordon? On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. Willie Ordonez. Standing in, Willie Ordonez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ah, too late. Out towards shallow right. Piscotti has it in his sights. He makes the play, and that'll end. Okay, I will go, I think, one more inning with Barrios, then we'll bring in Alvarez. Try to get a run across while we're at it. Oh, man, Barrios, torch to center. He's allowed a home run, now a double, standing up. Wow, not 
Thoughts on A-Rod joining the ESPN broadcast booth? I've heard A-Rod's uh, commentary before. I think it's really good. I'm excited for opening day, especially because now it's just not us watching, you know, one team at night. I think everyone's playing opening day this year. Can't wait. But now you find yourself down 0 2. I also like how close the game comes out to opening day just a couple days before. I think Madden ends up being like 10 to 14 days before week one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gordon shading to his right. Two gone. Is it worth buying PS4 for MLB The Show? I mean, that's completely up to you if uh, a system is worth one specific game. To me, like, you know, a 3DS was worth it to go to play Pokemon. It was the only place I could play it. Um, PS4 is the more expensive, and it, it really depends on how much you're going to get out of it. Most say that you should never buy a system for one game, and I say... It's not always a bad idea. Him up. In foul oh, whoa. Oh, it. So you can mark that that's a bad error. I've never played Mario Super Sluggers, no. That's one baseball game I haven't gotten to. I have played... There is a Super Mario Baseball game, correct? Because I know I've played something with Mario Baseball, but I forget what the title was. I don't think it was Super Mario Sluggers, though. First offering on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Sano is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind ah, of pitch man. he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. They pitch yes, Sano very low. I've got to get better with him because everyone attacks him the same way. Off speed, low. What's your favorite Pokemon of all time? My favorite Pokemon, probably Blaziken. I love Gen 3 so much. My favorite Legendary would have to be Suicune. I really like the Legendary Dogs and the Legendary Birds. They nailed the Legendaries in the first three Gens so well. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Uh, please get out of reach. I don't think it is. Bad. There to take it in is Carpenter for the first out. Now batting, second baseman. My favorite Pokemon in. game would have to be Emerald. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. There's Josh Harrison lining out. I thought I'd get over. This is taken for the second out. The left fielder number 20. Ready for another chance. Eddie, Eddie Rosario, Rosario comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Me M E S P N is the answer. Blitzkrieg. Did that hit him? On the fists for ball one. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Two and zero for the Twins left fielder. Different franchise team. We keep going with the Twins. Oh, we're gonna keep going with the Twins for a long time. There's a lot of work to do, and I just did so much building here. There's no way that I'm going to start over. Uh, speaking of your World War II question, I thought that Call of Duty World War II's campaign was pretty fun. Yeah, COD campaigns, you have to go with the right expectations. I don't really care about cliched characters and different, uh, you know, the way they do their campaigns with uh, it basically being an over-the-top action movie style. I like it for what it is. I'm not going there to watch something that I can compare to Uncharted 4. There we go. I really enjoyed the World War II campaign. So I'm glad I played it. I like Greninja a lot with the Blaziken Charizard. It's cool as well. Yeah, Greninja is one of my favorite uh, water types as far as starters go. Although for Alligator in Gen 2, childhood always wins out, you know. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. 
And no Buxton RBI. I don't think I've ever gone with like the grass starter except for in Pokemon Yellow when you get everybody. The grass starter never seemed like a good option to me. I guess because I always like fire types and it's like grass is obviously weak to fire so why would I go with that? And then it's like water's weak to grass, but I don't take grass seriously. Like, why am I afraid of a tree? Actually, are the tree are the tree Pokemon usually different types, like ground? Down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Mm. Hey, Ken, hope your day is going well. I love your videos. I'm a huge franchise person. Thank you, Ryan. Day is going well. Despite the stream issues, we've had a good time get getting some action in here with the new players. Had some two. nice home runs, one, some big two. strikeouts. Right on cue. Septile is good. Yeah, Septile isn't bad, but and like whenever there's a good grass starter, I can always pick another one that I like more. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. The 0 and 1 delivery. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. In today's game, if you're not disciplined, I have to say Septile is probably my first or second right favorite right when it comes to grass. To try and drive the baseball right here. Venusaur would have to be up there, mostly because Bulbasaur is like one of the best, uh, like first evolutions of a starter. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count. At there you go, two. Barrios. Really good inning there. Your attention, please. Now, Cardinals, number 67, Matt Newman. I know who everyone wants to see. How about Nelson Cruz? Let's give him an at bat here in the sixth inning. I've almost completed this game, I'm pretty far along. He's not fair. I really enjoy Nelson Cruz. <laughs> His fifth homer of the spring. A solo home run from Nelson Cruz as the Twins have come back to Good night. Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing. That was not Back to the top of the order now. Charlie Blackman. I keep getting good pitches up. I can't. I got a swing. No, I do not play Madden Mobile. I don't play any mobile games. All right, Gordon. No one's on base. We can't get into a double play this time. I don't even understand baseball. I never even watched any baseball game. I don't even know why I'm watching. Well, thank you for watching anyway. There we go. Drilled it to center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. The first base and now Willie Ordonez. Do I have anyone in my bullpen warming up? Here comes the first pitch. And this one's in the dirt. I don't play NHL 18, but I want to give NHL 19 a chance this year. Alvarez is warming up. He's probably getting bored. I also want to see... I got to get an inning with Rysel Iglesias, whether it's in a ninth inning or not. I mean, it's Kane. You got to watch. I appreciate that. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. 
That's a 2-0 count. And both of those 2 -0 count here really to Willie Ordonez, the contact hitting specialist. Down into left center for a base back to back hit. singles here for two players that hope to develop into everyday starters for us at some point. How do you choose a franchise team? I look for a good blend of a team that obviously has holes and needs, but also has young players that I can develop into stars. Here's Miguel Sano. I tried. So, you know, in my Bears franchise, for instance, I got to start out with some pretty good uh, defensive players in Pernell McPhee, Danny Trevathan, Jarrell Freeman, and then there was Jordan Howard on offense. But there was still, you know, a quarterback to develop, a tight end in Adam Shaheen, Cameron Meredith, Adrian Amos, Eddie Jackson, Leonard Floyd on defense. There's a good blend of veterans, young players, and there were still some holes. I had to get a receiver. Harlan Regis was my pick. Needed some corner help. I go get Curry Peters. Ah, I didn't want to swing at that. I meant to check swing. Thoughts on Case Keenum going to the Broncos? Ah, Case did a lot of good things last year, but I'm not sure if he can repeat it all. But he did show some good habits that I think he will be able to carry into the future with uh, some of his pocket presence. I thought it was pretty impressive at times. Uh, he was very good on the move. Where he gets himself into trouble, though, is when he goes downfield because of the arc under his ball. And the Vikings had two of the best contested catch receivers last year. And, well, I think Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders are good players. Uh, you just can't count on always being bailed out by your receivers, no matter who you are. It counts as a home run nonetheless. So we have Yadier Alvarez in the game now, and he was very inconsistent last year, but the highs were very high. And we hope that he becomes one of our top of the rotation pitchers. We'll see if he begins this year in the minors or up here with the big league team. But there's a strikeout. Kane promised me we'll run EA, SHL together at NHL 19. I'm not exactly sure what EASHL is. Isn't that like their team version, like team play hockey? Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance. How much longer are you planning to stream, Kane? Um, up to uh, maybe a half hour to an hour. We had some tech issues today, so that has slowed things down. But we've gotten in a pretty good stream here for the most part. I think the playback version will be very good for those that want to watch that because it will remove a lot of the issues. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. There we go, another strikeout. Team play hockey. That sounds fun. But I gave basketball more of a chance this year, and I'm enjoying it. I want to give hockey a chance. I want to play all the sports games. Sports are special. Back here on the show, all square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's I think I'm going to play this whole game. Make a series on Greg Hastings' 2004 tournament paintball for the Xbox. I don't think I'll be doing that. I played one Greg Hastings game, and I realized, like, wait a minute. Paintball doesn't transfer to a video game as well as I thought it would. At least I didn't think it was all that fun. One for two with a double on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Would you consider the Colts a good franchise option next year? I'd consider them a great franchise option. Absolutely. Especially because they'll be adding a top pick here in a month. Bay person to watch on YouTube. Thank you, Carson. I appreciate that. Ooh. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now. As a left Who's better, begun to get loose. Mitch Trubisky or Mitch Garver? He's set and the two-one pitch. It's Garver. Now nah, Trubisky's all right when I'm not getting him hurt because of my uh, questionable pocket AI at times. The fact that you have played one of Hastings' games is fulfillment for me. <laughs> I remember growing up like paintball was a big deal. I'm 25 now, so when I was like 15, people loved paintball. I wasn't really into it. I did play one time. It was fun. Um, is that still a thing? Like, I feel like a lot of the things that were at least like a fun activity when I grew up maybe are an afterthought now. Like, I had a lot of friends who were into like skateboarding or supercross or snowboarding like a lot of that still has to be a big deal somewhere right I've, I've had this question now for a long time so maybe if some of you are younger you can answer it for me are kids still riding bikes like is that a thing to learn how to ride a bike I used to love riding bike Make another Bears franchise episode. Check the channel tomorrow. There'll be one. Good swing, Paul. How was your weekend? It was very good. Didn't do anything too exciting. But I enjoyed my time. Do I have a starter in there now? Paul Goldschmidt. Let me uh, fast forward a little bit. I put in Romero probably cold, so he's not going to do the best, but he got through it. Yes? Okay. Kids still ride bikes, Grandpa Kane. Thank you. I wasn't sure. Oh, we got a home run. Was that Buxton who went yard? Young will try and get his club. And hitting for the Cardinals, number five. Probably sound like an old man asking that question. Everyone nowadays just flies in their jet planes. Oh, that's what I thought. That's why I asked. And here's a fastball called for strike. What's your favorite series on your channel? If I had to pick one right now, I'd probably say Callus Spell, just because of how far we are into it and all the, the change that happens in there. Dynasty's a, a fun element, just because you're forced to move on from great players after a very short amount of time. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls. This is Fernando up. Romero. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. One of our many promising young pitching prospects inside. that are right-handed. It's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Troy Lee is going to prove his talent this year. I, I that's what I love. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. But the fact that we have so many young players with a chance to uh break into new roles is exciting I can't wait to play year seven I want to get those recruits in the game hopefully soon and then uh, get to week one I'm hungry can you do more NFL tour that's not high on my priorities right now but I'm sure I'm not done playing that game I like NFL tour I wish we got more sports games like it that took themselves less seriously, but put a, a good emphasis on uh, fast-paced fun. Here's 
Here's Colton Wong now. And, Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Behind 0-2 now. It's been with the slider the right there. Pitch. Oh, didn't go where I wanted it to, but we are okay. Why doesn't Kalispell have blue helmets? Ah, I can't remember why I didn't do that for the, the secondary helmets. I wish I could have made even more um, more uniforms. Well, I didn't even make them. Blackjack made them. If I made them, they wouldn't look good. Got a high fly ball into left center, but it's caught. I can't believe Kane hasn't done another series in All-Pro 2K8 yet. That is a really fun game, and I do want to do another one with an all-Kane team, maybe. Seeing as how that game is all about legends. I couldn't put a full team of Kane legends on there because I think you're limited to 12 or 10 players. Have you won on Fortnite yet? No. I think I've been down to the last two in squads and uh, last three in uh, solo. But I've played very little. But I'm starting to see what the hype is all about. I do think it is a fun game. The one two. Can be very frustrating at the same time, though. Riding in once again, Eduardo Escobar. He reached on a single in his first try. Eduardo Escobar. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. I'm not sure why other sports games haven't gotten the year to year saves yet. It makes so much sense. And, and it was almost a necessity for MLB because everything takes so long. And this is a good way to get people to uh, play the next game because they can pick up where they left off and not start over again. Fouled away. NBA should do it. Those seasons are long too. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Might have been cheating for another fastball, trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Fastball misses in the. Any advice for scouting and drafting and franchise? Focus on the middle rounds. Those players are easier to obtain. You'll have less competition, especially if you take them a little bit early. Don't be afraid to reach on a player you know is good. Rysel Iglesias, our new closer this year. Oh, he's got the high socks look. He's even better now in my book. The high socks look is necessary. There is a weekly hit ground ball. Whatever happened to Perkins in this series? Well, I moved him, well, when I moved the game to MLB 18, it changed his name because he retired in real life. And then I just didn't re-sign him because he's a low 70 overall. I know he tell you he'd like to be I knew we had to start better, over. I think it's as at closer for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. And there, there we go. And missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the A good first nine. impression of our closer here, I sell Iglesias. Stepping in. A weak ground ball and a change up. The last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Owen won the count. Fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Two and one. Two out, nobody on. Let's get this final out. Swing Ooh, scorched it. Foul. 
How do I want to try ending this? Catcher wants a slider on the outside. There you go. Wow, he swung at it. Iglesias slams the door. Kane, Nate Bell, Road to Glory series, please. I think that if I do a prequel, there's a very good chance I'd do Nate Bell to go back to the secondary and uh, to play with such an iconic player from uh, one of my series. I would like to do that at some point. There's a lot of stuff going on my channels right now, so it's not a super urgent priority. I'm simming a few more games now. Just want to see how some of these games go. Quieter offense for us in this game. I'm mostly focused on how the pitcher pitchers do because some of them had bad outings. Blackman with two hits. Hey, there we go. A better outing for Maxwell Fowler than Gonzalez. Just a two to one victory here. Gonzalez, three innings, one run. We'll take it. We get shut out this time. Keichel gives up three. He's not having the cleanest spring, that's for sure. 12-1. to 1, Big time offense for us now. I think Garver had a home run. Maybe Goldschmidt as well. Yep. Or Goldschmidt and Granite went yard. Garver had a triple. Lance Lynn having a very good spring. And then finally this one here with Yadier Alvarez getting the loss. Gave up six runs. I want to jump into this game. We're going to go with Max, but I also want to pitch with Dallas Keuchel. Let's get Willie Ordonez in there in left field. And Nick Gordon at shortstop. Not a good look for Alvarez. Yeah, there's a good chance he begins in the minors. Got to get him more consistent. I think that Lance Lynn signing makes more sense now because he's a little bit more reliable. And he is having, like, the best spring. Oh, yeah, I haven't played with Jake Reed yet. We saw a lot of him last year. He was my primary reliever a lot of times. Him and Duffy. But uh, I haven't pitched with him yet today. There are the averages so far. Jason Castro having a very rough spring. At the plate, Charlie Blackman. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Minnesota. Right fielder. First pitch Charlie on its way. Blackman. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he just misses with a curveball. And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. There is no video coming up on the channel after this stream. I'll have a Jordan Starks video out on the second channel, but that's going to be all today. Bears franchise is already complete for tomorrow. I have to upload it still. The next win up, Josh Harrison. And then we'll have more uh, MLB The Show content this week, of course, with the game coming out officially on Tuesday. Turned on that one with Harrison. Deep left center, and it's down for extras. Nice swing. That was a clean double right there. I haven't pitched with Gonzalez either. That's very true. I guess I know what I'm doing this game. Stepping in, the power-hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. First delivery to him on the way. Ah, oh, busted bat. Why'd I swing at that? And there are two away now. Need a base hit now from Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. 
Do you still regret letting Doolittle go? Well, it wasn't on purpose. I wish I hadn't messed that up. Here comes the first pitch. Comes right after him with I wonder, though, if we would have ended up with Iglesias if I'd made uh, that signing, if I would have been so aggressive for a trade. Because the trade was really out of necessity afterwards. Down in the zone. Harrison at third with two away. Outside two and one. Thank you for the easy takes. crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. You know, Kenny Jansen, Dero, he's kind of hard to figure out. Doesn't give a Two and one to Miguel Sano. Make you bring the ball into that plate. Yeah, Dan. Kenny Jansen. Oh, man. He'll reward pitchers around the knees. But they got the lucky. Right there. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Here now the 2 2. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. Give me one more. I'll be ready for it. So no. And a fastball Close. Just a bit up. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. If you're enjoying the stream today, please leave a like. Those are very helpful. I'm not sure how many likes we're at here. I'm not on that screen. Runners hit the corners two away. Maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate, so he'll step out and ask for time. Do you play Hello Kitty World Adventures? I can't say that I even know if that's a real game. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Ah, oh, Nelson Cruz. Can't give us the home run here. Standing in Kevin Kiermaier. Looking at two innings here for Max, then I want to put in Dallas Keuchel and then Steven Gonzalez. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Time is there, about 5:27. Okay. Here it comes, 0-2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier. We're at 13 now. likes. Basic 213, right 214. Fastball, up and Thank out you for the, the update. Change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. Can Michael Tate enter the NFL in Madden 18 or 19? Maybe. I'm not sure yet what I want to do with Michael Tate. If I bring him back for anything. He was a great player to play with, though. I wanted to do a linebacker series for a player who was kind of a do-it-all linebacker. No real weaknesses. Oh, Maxwell Fowler gives up the long ball here. Way out to right field. Okay. Hopefully some of these pitchers can bounce back in the second half of spring training. I want to be able to be confident in my starting five when the year begins. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And Look at that fastball. Right Strike three. What a pitch. So now it'll court. be the four-hole hitter, Corey Dickerson, Corey. looking to get on base Dickerson. and keep this first inning alive. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And Dickerson behind 0-2 now. Finish up the inning the right way, Max. Uh, too high. high fastball that time. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that. Having to use a lot of pitches lower, just to get out of this first inning, though. Make you pay big time. That's one thing I've noticed with Max. P uh, hitters will do hit a lot of fouls off of him. And a miss. There we go. The fastball right by him in the inning. The fastball got both strikeouts.
Nick Gordon's having a good spring. That's awesome. Considering he's one of our top prospects, our second highest. And we'll check on stats before we wrap up the stream as well. So here's Gordon. Got that one deep to right center. Nick Gordon sends that one off the wall. I thought it'd be a home run. Instead, we're one base short. Stand up triple. You'll see right there that this is a shot to right center, and the fielder can't cut it off. He was churning those legs on the base pass, making it to third with a triple. Now it's Willie Ordonez. Stepping up to the plate, Willie Ordonez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And Ordonez to the right field brings him home. I love seeing the young hitters step up. City Skylines streamer we riot. I actually have played City Skylines. My city probably isn't all that efficient, but I made a very profitable city on there. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go. It was a little overwhelming dealing with traffic, though. I wasn't sure how to make good, like, freeway, uh, like, on ramps, off ramps. My towns just got so congested. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. Oh, and Our two here to Buxton. Oh, thank you very much. Into center, caught. Kiermaier is right there, one down. Nick Gordon playing his way into a starting spot. Probably not yet. Not yet. When his overall is closer to an 80, maybe. But now that his offense is picking up, he's very close to making the roster. Right field. Jason Castro, though, he's not even hitting 100. Is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Ready for another chance? Charlie Blackman. Right he's 0 for 1 after Charlie grounding out Blackman. in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. one on its way Breaking oh man waving at these inside pitches let's see if I can battle back here with Charlie at all I'll do a contact swing and a breaking ball stays out goat simulator I played that that game's a little old now I'm sure that one's run its course on YouTube the one two misses ball two after two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now. You're probably going to get something right. In the the two to two and two. Zone. If you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Outside in a full count, three and, and two. And now we're full. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. The bouncer to the left side. Got jammed there. Oh well, I made him pitch. Made him work. Yep, the spring training jerseys are very simple. I'm not sure why they're so different. There we go, Max. So the base is empty here with one away, and standing in here is the very dangerous third base. And then Longoria on one pitch. He's going to be retired. All right, Max, a much better second inning than his first, where he allowed the home run. Still got to finish it, though. And then I'm going to see Dallas Keuchel. Oh, wow, they're not even being patient today. Thank you for that. I can hit again. You gonna have a road to the show guy? I have a Jordan Starks road to the show on my second channel. He's a shortstop who hits for power. I am posting the end of his rookie season today. 
first turn. As far as a new road to the show, maybe. I've been very tempted with the new additions to the mode that make progression based on performance. But it's one I started back in MLB 17. How long have I been streaming? A while now. We've had some streaming issues, but I made sure to, you know, see if we could get things stable so we could have a long baseball stream here. And it's been going for a couple hours, so I'd say it's going pretty well. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars. Thank you to everybody who's spending some time with me here on this Sunday and being patient through tech issues. The action in the games has been pretty good. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Goldschmidt with a swing and a ball. Full Goldschmidt's going out now. We've had a very good introduction to our new offensive players. Goldschmidt with another home run. Nelson Cruz also has five. We've done some hitting with Josh Harrison and Charlie Blackman, and that's gone pretty well for the most part. The offense has been really fun in the spring. It's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent. Oh, I should have gone back to back. Is Kansas going to beat Duke? I have no clue. I haven't really watched the tournament much. Changeup is way low that time. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. And now it's up to Nelson Cruz. I've already hit a couple. I think I've hit two home runs with Goldschmidt today, and two home runs with Cruz. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's one or no. The 1-0. Oh, big uppercut swing. He has confidence in that curveball. I'd be careful where you put it. A fastball that just misses inside. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more... Nelson Cruz now with the home run. He left it up. And it goes way out. Way, way out. 479 feet. The seventh spring home run for Nelson Cruz. What a transformation for this lineup. And I almost didn't sign him. What an addition. As a fellow once Absolutely said, smoked it. That ball wouldn't have made it out of is Yellowstone. Everyone knows Who is this pitcher? Blake Snell, 78 overall. He is not having a good day. He's got plenty of bump in his bat, but come on. I'm not sure that ball's even come down yet. Into the box now, Nick Gordon. As he'll take a look at ball one. He found his way over. Cruz, of course, was a one year deal. He's a 38 year old player, but I knew he'd give us an immediate power boost. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Two out, nobody on. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Now the 2 1. It is swung on and missed for strike number two. Now, seeing if I can get anything done with Nick Gordon. He's not a sa the power hitter that we see from uh, Goldschmidt or Cruz. Drawn the count full. 
to count at three and two. He has uh, 35 kind of power off the lefty, so don't expect much here. Hoping to put something in the gap if we can. Launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously oh, man, change up on the corner. Thank you for the super chat, SNS. You should make a 30 for 30 style video. That's kind of what I envisioned for Kane's classics. Looking back at old stuff in my series and kind of just uh, remembering all the fun moments that we've had and stuff like that. That's kind of the format I'd look at where I'd do, you know, show a lot of the game and the commentary from there, but also uh, just kind of some explanation about the series or what was going on at the time in there or whatever is relevant. Into the wind -up. Here comes the 0 and 1. We've had a lot of stuff happen on the channel, so it's certainly, you know, a good fit now that so many years have passed. Think of all the subscribers that started watching, like the Bears franchise, that never saw any of the Minnesota dynasty. They missed a ton. I'm back from dinner. What I miss? Um, well, Goldschmidt and Cruz just hit another home run each in the last inning. So there's that. Do you contact swing? With end. two strikes, I often do. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Kevin Kiermeyer. He's for one or with a contact hitter who I'm not worried about power, like Yunel Escobar, I'll hit a contact swing with him. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Next 0-2. Popped it up. Pop Dallas Keuchel with a Gold very good Smith inning. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Willie Ordonez. Probably going to wrap up here fairly shortly, though. It's been a long stream now. Securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Oh, good pitch there for Willie. Classic change late. of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Lays oh, off that time, and it's right. one and two. The one, two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Not sure if I like Ardonia's stance very much, but I let the players have whatever they had when they come in. They got their own customization and look. Interested to see what he goes to. Three and two to Ordonez. Got one to hit on the third base. Retired. Play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. I want another at bat here with Byron Buxton. I got to get used to his new stance, which is a lot better than his MLB 17 stance. I'll go contact swing and see how that does. He does have some power, but I'm not really looking for a bunch of home runs. I want a higher average. Ooh, that was a contact swing. Timing was a little early. softly on the ground but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes a ball and two strikes here's the pitch a little bouncer that goes foul so he stays alive with two strikes back to back low curve balls I can't lay off three foul balls in a row he is calibrating that heater and the off speed let's see if he can catch so for Kane's classic some of my ideas for episodes were Kind of like how my channel got really started here with franchise and go back to some of the Minnesota Dynasty stuff. That's going deep, but it's foul. Um, I could look back at, you know, also players like Nate Bell and his emergence and ascent into stardom. The Steven Smiley four-game stretch with the Chargers could be one. Both have been long at bats and... You know, there are a lot of options. It would probably be kind of like a, a once a month kind of a series. Because I want to put some good time into it. 
is that bad ain't ever ending. And I'd probably do a lot of like episodes based on suggestions because it's really kind of fan servicey stuff. Time. It's for me as well, but I want it to kind of be kind of uh, a celebration of all the great moments that many of you have enjoyed in the series. Digging in for his second. All right, I don't need an at bat here. Castro. Not with Castro. So we're going to see our two lefties now. We're going to see Dallas Keuchel, and then I'm going to get Gonzalez in there. And after I get their work done, I'm probably going to sim to the end, show you stats at the end of the stream, and then we're probably going to be done. Do you have any suggestions for things that would deserve a Kane's Classics treatment, even though you've never seen how I'd create it yet? Only my descriptions. A whole episode on the National Championship loss? Uh, yeah. I'd like to focus on more positives, especially if they're infrequent videos. Matty, what this guy's doing is unbelievable right here. The ability to slow the game down his first big league start. And to when do I think I do that? Probably start it up during the summer. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Riding in once again, Corey Dickerson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Oh, that's a strike. Give me that one. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something. The Minnesota team that went all the way without McKenzie. Yeah, that's an easy, uh, that's an easy one right there. The story of Reggie Shepard, you playing some paintball. Second with one gun in the inning. Andrew Johnson, the, the story of Eddie Benson. I'm not sure if that one would be that long. Uh oh, drilled to right. Got it. Tyrone Brightful is a Kane classic. Oh man. Yeah, Andrew Johnson, that'd be a great player based one. That whole season, too. No balls and a strike to count. That'd probably be one of the longer ones I would create. Base hit. Let's see if we can get out of this inning here with Dallas Keuchel. Swing and a miss as he pulls Good change up. All right, what do you want here with two strikes? Fastball, low. Sent on the ground. Catcher knows best. On to first, and the Rays are kept off the scoreboard. Yeah, this is going to be the only upload today on this channel, but Jordan Starks will be coming on my second channel. I think I might sim some hitting now. I want to get to uh, Gonzalez here quickly. And then um, wrap up the stream here. But thank you all for joining me today. We had some issues, but that did not stop us from having a fun stream today and getting uh, some good spring training gameplay in. We got to see Paul Goldschmidt, Nelson Cruz hit some home runs. I think that our offense looks really promising. The pitching could use a little work right now. They're kind of struggling early on. I'm not completely worried yet, but I... Don't know what our rotation is going to look like yet with all the young pitchers still kind of not giving us stability. Look at that knuckle curve ball. An episode on the traders of the dynasties, Fred Arnold, Tyrone Campbell, Aaron Higdon, Freddie Kimbrough. Yeah, that would actually be a really good idea. Because we played against most of them. We've played against Arnold. That was a pretty classic game in that series. Tyrone Campbell obviously went to Iowa. I don't think we ever played against him, though. He disappeared, remember that? 
Aaron Higdon, we played against him. That was the game we actually shut out. Uh, our first ever shutout in the series was against Aaron Higdon in the UAB. And then Freddie Kimbrough, we'll probably play him at some point. He was the first five-star commit at Kalispell. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Throw gets him, two down. The batter, number 13. PGA Tour, Theon Daniels. Uh, I could do that anytime. The game's not new, so it doesn't really make a difference when I do it. But I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy seeing that. Leon Daniels. He's everywhere. What can't Leon do? This is, hit the this other is way drilled left deep field. left, Ordonia caught. All right. It's play. only one he inning, but I want to sim to the end now. And then just take a look at numbers and wrap this up. Number 87, Jose Daniel. Really good time, though, today. I'm really enjoying the show 18, enjoying this team I have put together. And this year, I can't wait to see what they're capable of. Year three in the Twins franchise has the most potential. That is for sure. An episode about every running back you drafted but didn't need to. <laughs> oh, man, never have enough running backs. What can't Leon do? Play football? Come on. You saw him break that tackle, right? He's a hero on this channel. And I had nothing to do with the creation of all that madness. So right now, let's sort it by hits. Yunel Escobar is having a fantastic spring training with uh, 17 hits and batting 425. Nelson Cruz is crushing long balls. No one's on base, so he has 11 RBIs. Josh Harrison's hitting 342. Charlie Blackman, 227 is a little underwhelming at this point. Paul Goldschmidt, good home run power, obviously. Eduardo Escobar has eight hits. Willie Ordonez is doing pretty well. Mitch Garver is even contributing nicely. I think he has the best chance right now to be our backup catcher. And the way Castro's playing, I'm not sure that's a backup spot for long. And then for pitchers, if we sort by innings pitched, Dallas Keuchel's getting a lot of strikeouts, but he had a couple bad outings, and that'll really stand out to, with only 17 innings pitched. One bad outing is going to ruin your ERA. Maxwell Fowler, his is on the way down, thankfully. Yadier Alvarez, very high ERA. I'll get him some more innings. Tyler Duffy has a 409. Trevor May is doing pretty well. So is Lance Lynn. Jake Reed, I never got him into the game today. Gonzalez is kind of struggling. So there's still a lot for us to go through in the spring. And I'll probably do one more stream of this. It was fun. And I'll play a lot more of the games myself to do a video. But thank you all for joining me today. The Twins are 9-5 and five so far in spring training. We're doing a very good job of getting runs on the board. And that was our biggest problem a year ago. So that's awesome. We have the two best home run hitters in the spring. So thank you for joining me today, dealing with tech issues, and enjoying some home runs. It was a fun stream. And I will look to do more of this soon. So please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and you can leave your feedback below in the comment section. But I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.